Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 58. That is, what are stubs? Let me answer. Stubs are used in one of the integration testing approaches. Okay, as part of integration testing, developers may follow different approaches. Okay, what are the different integration testing approaches that developers will follow while performing the integration testing? There are four different approaches in integration testing that developers may follow. They are top-down integration testing approach, bottom-up integration testing approach, sandwich integration testing approach, and finally, big bang integration testing approach. Any of these approaches the developer may use while performing the integration testing. Okay, but in which type of integration testing approach these steps are used? Steps are used in the top-down integration testing approach. Okay, the top-down integration testing approach steps are used. So let me explain this top-down integration testing approach and the requirement for using the steps in this top-down integration testing now, okay? So as you can see here, guys, this is the top-down integration testing approach. In top-down integration testing, developers, while performing the integration testing, will integrate the higher level units. Assume that these are the, whatever I'm drawing here are the individual units, higher level individual units, okay? These higher level individual units as part of integration testing will be integrated with their immediate, lower level units okay higher level units will be integrated with their immediate lower level units like this okay as part of integration testing approach that is top down integration testing approach from top we'll start and we go till down okay we'll start with the higher level units and integrate this higher level units with their lower level units like this okay immediate lower level units like this once this lower level units are integrated with this higher level units like this okay these lower level units will be again integrated with their with their lower level units okay for other units, these are higher units, right? Like that, okay? The process keeps on going, guys, okay? The integration process keeps on going like this. So we are going to integrate the higher level units with their lower level units as part of the top-down integration testing approach. But what is the requirement of these steps in this uh, top-down integration testing approach? What happens during real time when, you, when developers are performing the top-down integration testing approach is one of the unit may not be available. Okay, this unit may not be ready, guys. Okay, it's taking a lot of time to develop or create this unit by the developers. Okay, so this unit is not ready. Just because of this particular unit or units are not ready, we cannot stop the integration testing, right? Developers cannot stop the integration testing just because few of the units are not available or ready. In that case, what the developers will do is, in place of these real units, they will replace these real units with the steps. Okay, just to proceed with the, just to not stop the integration testing in between, okay to continue the integration testing so in top down integration testing approach to continue the integration testing developers will replace this real units with the temporary programs known as steps okay what are steps steps are nothing but the steps are nothing but the temporary programs okay so when the real unit is not ready then developers will use the temporary programs okay which are a dummy programs guys like uh, they'll take input and give the output that's it. no real logic is written inside that steps okay steps are temporary or dummy programs which can be used in place of the real units okay till the real units are ready developers are going to use steps okay so in case of the top down integration testing approach if few of the units are not ready in that case you know uh, not to stop the integration testing uh, developers are going to use steps which are temporary programs or dummy programs okay and uh, use them to continue the integration testing okay so this is what is called as steps okay and there are other things, guys. In another, another integration testing approach, that is bottom-up integration testing, we call these temporary programs as drivers, guys. Okay? In case of top-down, we call them as steps. Okay. In bottom-up integration testing approach, also we use some temporary programs when units are not ready. So that is, the, those are called as drivers in case of bottom-up. But in case of top-down integration testing, they are called as steps. In sandwich, we use both cases. Okay? In sandwich means both the directions, the integration will happen. That is, from top to down, it will happen. Bottom to up also will happen. It is a Sandwich is a combination of top down and bottom up. So both will be there. That is steps and drivers will be used here by the developers, okay? When the real units are not available, okay? So this is what are steps, guys. Okay? So hope guys, you got the idea, like uh, you got the answer, like what are steps in this session. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.